Next up, <coughs> creating a graphical user interface from a console application. So first of all, we need to create a console application and then we're going to add the code to create a GUI from a console application. So we start with File, New, Console Application. We get rid of the Try Accept End template. Format to house style. It's Control D. We're going to have a look at what we need to add to the main begin end block, and I've already pre prepared four lines of uh, code, five lines of code actually, which I'm going to copy into the project. Write line, hello world, and read line are part of the console application application.initialize, application.createform and application.run form the basis for the GUI. Right, now the identifier application is defined in a unit called forms um, it, it, it's given its full namespace, it's VCL dot forms for the visual component library. Now we need a class declaration for the form and a variable which we can use to reference the form. So we'll call the class tform1 and we're going to base it on an existing class tform which is supplied within the Delphi system. We'll use a reference variable form1 to refer to an instance of tform1. We're going to save our project. In a folder console form 2. And we're going to give it the name console form. Notice that the program name has changed the console form. We get the console mode, but unfortunately we don't get a form because we're missing a description of the form. Delphi cannot actually produce a form unless it can reference a description of what constitutes the form. Delphi requires a, a text file containing the description with the details bracketed between object and end. So the name uh, of the form, or well, the identifier for the um, object is form1. Its position is located 192 units from the 
edge of the uh, screen and 114 from the top. Its width is 696 units, height 480, its caption is form 1 and its colour is uh, button face and we need to specify the font, ca uh, character set, colour, height, name, style and now uh, um, pixels per inch and the create order set to false. So we uh, will save this um, with the extension DFM and we've got to save it in the console form 2 folder alongside the console form project. Now we've made a mistake because we've just accepted uh, the name that exists at the moment um, we'll find we'll need to change that file name to match the project file name. So again we're unsuccessful for two reasons. One I've just mentioned and we'll explore changing the form name to be the same as the project name but we'll need to do something else which I will demonstrate in a moment. So it's now console form dot DFM. But again we don't get the form because in addition to getting the form file to match in name we also need to tell Delphi to load this form. And we do that with a directive which has load any form with the extension DFM and there we are it's now working we've got both console window and we've also got the form window and we should be able to close both successfully. So there we have generation of a GUI from a console application. Now let's add a button and a method that will respond when the button is clicked and we add these two statements to the class definition so the class now defines a field the name of button of type t button and it has a method button one click um, but we need to add a reference to the unit VCL dot standard controls so that uh, the T button type can be recognized and we need to create the implementation of button one click and we do uh, control shift C to create the skeleton and we're going to add show message which we've used before and we need to resolve the identifier show message and we do that 
by adding another unit, vcr.dialogs. And then we need to add the message to show message, the message that we want to appear on the screen. I'll correct the spelling in a moment. And adjust the indentation eventually. Not quite right. Need to line up the B of button one with the A of class, so it's two columns of indentation. Likewise, we need to get the P of procedure in the same column as the B of button, and then the E of end in the same column as the C of class. This is just our house style, it's not the Embarcadero house style. We'll correct the message hello world. We'll just uh, close up the lines to neaten up the presentation. We're going to have a look at the form and we'll load the form actually in the Delphi IDE. Um, the form file with the extension DFM And we're going to add what we need to represent the button that we've defined in the class. So we'll have um, reference identifier button 1, it will have a width of 75, a height of 25 and a caption of button 1. And we're going to insert this into the form definition file. Notice again that the detail necessary detail is bracketed between object and end and then we'll save this DFM so that when Dalphi loads it it will know that it's got to add a button with a caption button 1 and an on-click event that refers to the method button 1 click to the form and there you are Here's our button 1 with caption button 1. When we click it, it runs the show message method, or rather our procedure. And then we close both. And that's console application creating a GUI with a button. Next up, lesson four, creating a Windows VCL application. Thank you for listening.